and welcome to WRPB and WRP Studios. You know, there are things that people don't understand when we live in Florida, and it's knowledge that's not out there. You know, some things and that we've talked about in the past is uh, car insurance. I always bring up people to make you understand that if you don't have uninsured motorists, you're crazy. If you don't have stacking, you're crazy. And people don't understand those things. And I tell people, always use a professional. And some people think that they're way ahead doing stuff themselves, but it'll cost you five times more by doing it yourself and ten times more in aggravation. So with me is Denise Boning. That's correct. From Coastal Wide. Yes. Okay. Your company is very different. Yes, and most people will not understand what you do because I sat in there and spoke to you about what you do and I barely understand it. Yes, it's very, very difficult to understand. It's very hard. If you're not in the industry trying to explain to somebody what I do, uh, even for me, it's very hard to understand. Okay, but the key <clears throat> that I got out of it is, oh my God, if you deal with you, you you're going to be fi you could be so financially ahead of the game. And if you don't do things right in your industry, you could be so financially in the back of the game. That's correct. Okay. Yes. Mm -hmm. So what does Coastal Wide do? Coastal Wide, we help communities become more resilient, meaning uh, we help communities in their construction in, a, uh, in the flood to prevent flooding so that your home, in case there is a storm, a hurricane, that where you have a lot of flooding, um, your home does not get destroyed. We don't want our communities or the communities I deal with looking like what happened on the West Coast where we had a lot of destruction, a lot of homes were destroyed from floods, from the hurricanes, <coughs> and so forth. Okay, so what I've learned in my brief conversation with you is it's, that's, but not, that's one piece of a bigger picture because flood insurance, okay, is governed by basically how resilient your home is and it's a statewide thing so just because you're in the middle of the state you still have to keep up these minimums otherwise you'll lose everything right what happens is most of the communities in the state of florida they agree to participate in the national flood insurance program which is a voluntary program under that program every community has to maintain minimum standards. And by maintaining these minimum standards, every resident in that community can purchase flood insurance. Now we all know flood insurance rates are astronomically high. So what communities said, okay, let's help you all out by implementing higher standards, higher construction standards if you build something that is in a flood zone. When you do that, you get a discount on your flood insurance. And what I do is I help these communities maintain these programs so that they're always compliant with the minimum standards or the higher standards. Okay, so I'm gonna tell you guys, <clears throat> when you, if you live in Florida, I don't care if you live on the East Coast, the West Coast, in dead center, all you do is stick a little pencil in the ground and you'll find <laughs> water. That's for okay. sure. So we're really all in a flood zone. That's correct. Okay. Yep. And if Mother Nature was really mean to us, all of South Florida could be gone. Okay. <laughs> yeah, not really. It can it's flood true. from one side to the other. Yeah. It's sure. po I mean, uh, anything is possible. But anything is possible. But we've already yep. saw how far some of this flood water goes. Yes. Okay. Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. So one of the interesting things is that we know that flood insurance is sometimes hard to get. Mm-hmm. And it's pricey? Yes. So on the plan that you're talking about, let's just say, and I'm just picking out of my mm -hmm. head, let's just say that when I'm building my home, I'm building it two feet off the ground. Mm -hmm. If I build it five feet off the ground, will I get a better discount? Or does the whole community have to participate? How does that work? No, potentially. Potentially you would get a bigger discount. And of course you have to remember if let's say, you built your house five feet above and the house to your left and right is below that, they have to be careful when it's built that you don't build it so high that when the water comes, now you're flooding your neighbors. So that's a problem too. So you have to be careful. But yeah, 
in the flood insurance, the flood insurance rate, because it has changed as of April last year, they had come, came out with this risk rating 2.0 in order to make flood insurance more equitable among all properties. So what they did is they said, okay, we're going to measure every single house, the distance to their flooding source. And based on that, we will rate your flood insurance. And we will only give you a discount to figure out, well, where is your machinery and equipment, which is your AC unit and stuff like that, that feeds your house. How far off the ground is that? We might give you a discount for that. How far above the, what they call the base flood is your home? We'll give you a discount for that. But if you don't have that, you're not getting a discount, and all of a sudden people are shocked by the price of their flood insurance. Uh, and you know, here's the sad part. You shouldn't be shocked because <coughs> we live in Florida, hurricane capital of the world, and flooding can happen anywhere. That's right. Okay, there's that's canals right. everywhere. Yes, that's okay? right. It's not the oceans that only flood. Correct. It's and the rivers, the canals. You would be amazed that some of the homes that are on the beach side, where everybody said, oh, well, before my home floods, it's those homes on the beach. Well, no, not necessarily, because some of these beach homes, they have these huge dunes that protect them, while your home that's two feet away from some canal that starts overflowing, and plus your retention pond that you have in your backyard and your pool next thing you know you you're, flooding. Have, you're flooding and you're swimming through your street <coughs> you know i don't know how many years ago i'm going to guess it's five years ago mm -hmm. that we had a terrible rainstorm i had a unit in a place called king's point mm -hmm. in delray okay we weren't by the water yeah that whole area flooded mm. So bad that two people died. Oh, jeez. Okay, because you couldn't tell. They got out of the car. They couldn't tell the difference from the flood to the lake. Oh, no. That's okay. awful. My car, which is a regular sedan, had water, about this much water in the car. Oh, my goodness. Okay. She couldn't drive anywhere. Yeah. And it was something about the way they opened the locks up. Okay. So human error caused flooding all over that whole area. Yeah. Delray was terrible. Yeah. Uh, the Japanese gardens got ruined. Oh, that's okay. so sad. Right. Mm -hmm. So if you think, ah, you know what, it doesn't bother me because I don't live in a beach town, you got to think twice. Yes, absolutely. <coughs> I mean, we saw it, when was it, a few years ago during the hurricane that hit North Carolina. Uh, all the homes that were flooded and destroyed were all homes that were not in a flood zone. And <laughs> I hear it all the time. Oh, I'm not worried about it. I'm not in a flood zone. Well, you know, if you want to know what flood zone you're in, take out your driver's license and see what it says up top. If it says Florida, that means you're in a flood zone. <laughs> the F of Florida means flood zone. That's right. And if there was an H, it would mean hurricane. That's it. <laughs> I have a unit in Spanish Lakes. Uh-huh. Okay. And, you know, we're in the middle of basically a city the water and the streets flood. Yeah. If the sewer system is not running right. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, you, forget it. Even if you're not in a flood zone. Yeah. And most developments, correct me if I'm wrong, have either golf courses and lakes and streams all through them. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. And they flood. Yes. And pools flood. <laughs> right? Yeah. yeah. And, so, and that, can, that can cause damage. Okay. How long are you doing this? I've been doing this since 2010. That's when I opened up Coastal Wide. Why? Because we saw, my husband has a coastal engineering firm, and we saw that there was a need for people to be more educated about flood, flood insurance, and helping them with their floodplain management. So I really started out by doing what they call floodplain uh, revisions, what happened was is people that were in a flood zone um, where according to the maps and I said well you know what the map might not be 100 percent correct and based on the information I have I can get you rezoned or reclassified out of that flood zone into another zone so that they would uh, save money on their flood insurance and that's how it started <coughs> okay so from what you're telling me mm -hmm. 
I'm going to just guess yeah. that you can help Mary at her home, but really, community, HOAs, should be contacting you and saying, look, we got 300 homes. What do we need to do? Because now you're benefiting all your residents. Yep. Mm -hmm. And you're benefiting the HOA or, yep. the, or the development. Yep. Okay. Yep. After that flood down at Kings Point, I sold that unit and moved. Yeah. Yeah. Now, it hasn't flooded. I don't think it's flooded since. Right. Didn't matter. Right. Okay. Right. I was done. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so I think it's so important to check out what you don't know. That's now, right. have you seen changes in what you do from the time you started till now? Yes, I have seen changes in the sense, well, first of all, the biggest change. I personally, I live in Indian River County. Our maps changed. I know Martin County, St. Lucie County's got new flood maps. So there's changes there. Um, I see changes in the rain events that we have are worse than they were before, meaning we have a lot more flooding that we see than ever before. Our last hurricane, thankfully, we didn't get hit hard. Yeah. But <clears throat> anybody who lives by the beach knows, has seen what went on there. Beaches are gone. There were homes where you could literally see half the home is there's nothing underneath. They're basically hanging off the ledge there, ready to completely topple over into the ocean. So, yeah, I've seen a lot of um, changes in the sense that there's a lot more flooding than there's ever been before. Do you see more changes coming in the future? I'm sure. I'm sure. Uh, Everything always changes, you know. It, it, is it governed by how much rain we have, how many floods, how many hurricanes? Well, the hurricane, it, it's the rain events. I mean, you can have a hurricane if you don't have much rain associated with it or nothing extraordinary. It's, it's just a hurricane. It's the wind. But we can have a non-hurricane event where it's just rain. And if we have X amount of rain in so many hours, at some point, there's no place for the water to go. I mean, we're surrounded by water. If it doesn't drain, where, where's it going to go? You know, it's so weird because you can go through a year with all this flooding and then all of a sudden, well, we're in water restriction because we're in a drought situation. I know. Go figure, okay. right? Mother Nature really <laughs> plays tricks on us. <coughs> Who's your yeah. clientele? My clientele are as communities, the building department, community officials. Um, then I have residents, uh, whether it's private residences, HOAs, uh, entire developments, communities. I deal with contractors, helping them with their construction. Um, and that's pretty much it. So is it, I guess, from a little bit I know, mm -hmm. Uh, if if Mary is going to buy 100 acres and build units, I guess it would behoove her to meet with you prior to even making plans. Potentially, yeah. Usually what they do if they have, they'll contact the building official or the plan administrator of that community to find out what their rules and regulations are for constructing in a flood hazard area or as they call it, in a flood area. And they will have to follow those rules and regulations. But sometimes um, the community will reach out to us to help them manage the project, to help them um, with the making sure that the contractor maintains and is compliant with these flood rules. Okay, so it seems like this is an issue of <coughs> you, almost like you get what you pay for, mm -hmm. meaning... Well, here's what you have to do. And the word have to do doesn't coincide with the word, here's what you should do. Right. Okay? Yeah. So we were talking about if I if the rule says I have to build my house two feet up, and then I can get flood insurance. But if I build it five feet up, can I get a better discount possibly? Possibly. Absolutely. Sure. Okay. So yep. there are things that you can do. Yes. Okay? Mm -hmm. And in a development, you should do these things. Look... There's nothing worse than having to start again because you flooded. That's right. Yes, exactly. Okay. You don't, you don't want that. There were two things, flood and fire. Yeah. Two things that are brutal. Yes. Okay. Oh, absolutely. I did the fire thing yeah. once, so I get that. Yeah, I did the fire thing too. <laughs> <laughs> okay. 
We're getting a tough time. How do people find you? Do you have a website? Yes. You can go on to www.coastalwide.com. You can call me at 772-532-4536. And I'll give you information just if you have a question about flooding or flood insurance. Give me a call. If I don't know the answer, I will certainly find it for you. Again, always use a professional. I want to thank you for coming on. Yes, thank you so much for having me. Everybody have a great day. We'll be right back.